Hi guys, welcome to Paris Fashion Week. I've made it. I arrived um, about an hour ago. I got in the shower, got myself ready because there's no time to nap. There is time, but I don't want to nap because if I nap, then I, I'll feel groggy and I kind of have to gather my energy and roll on it for a couple more hours until it's bedtime but I thought I would show you my beautiful view this is so exciting here we are really really pretty Parisian view from my hotel I am staying for one night at Maison Mer and then I'm moving hotel after that it is a gifted stay my god it's so dark um, yeah, it's such a cute hotel and the view is amazing and I'm just about to get dressed and go outside for a coffee because I'm dying. I, I did a red eye. I, my flight was in during the night and I didn't really sleep properly on the plane obviously and I'm quite happy with my skin actually. I was really diligent, diligent, diligent. I think, not sure. Um, with my skincare, and I made sure I really hydrated the night before. Did a mask, and then on the plane, I put on some eye patches and just a mist. I don't tend to moisturize that much when I'm on the plane because I don't like things to stuck on my stick on my face. But yeah, pretty happy overall. Um, the routine is good. So yeah, this is the bathroom. There's also a beautiful view in the bathroom. It's the same view, but you can never get enough of these views, can you? Here we go. From the bathroom. So nice. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna decide what to wear and go get myself a coffee and some lunch. went to shoot this look from Shu Tong, which I have on loan as well. I really like it. It's like this little crop jacket with a sort of pencil skirt in a very, very thick linen fabric. And yeah, we went to find a really good location to shoot this. And now we're gonna have dinner at the restaurant, at the hotel, but I wanted to show you the view because the light is really pretty and like all the windows are yellow and you know, it looks really cute. So I think I'm gonna get change for dinner because I'm feeling kind of claustrophobic at the moment in this because we walked a, quite a while to get here. And yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear, but I'm gonna show you my look for dinner. Here's a full view of the look head to toe. I styled it with my Prada creepers, some tights and just some gold hoops. And I also had the Chanel bag. Like I said, I'm gonna wear it with everything. Good morning guys. It is, I don't even know what day of the week it is. Everything is blurring into, it is Wednesday. I just woke up as you can see and I just received my little breakfast at my room and I wanted to show you what I ordered because it's really cute. I got myself a little croissant, I got some smoked salmon, a baguette with, um, I don't know, it came with a little jam, and uh, a long black, an Americano. And I'm just gonna enjoy the view and eat my breakfast and edit last night's photos. And I need to do some stories this morning as well. And then I'm gonna wrap up this room go for a nice walk I'm gonna bring you along for that maybe shoot a couple photos by myself and then I need to come back here check out and check in to 
my new hotel before this afternoon because we've got a few appointments this afternoon and I need to get this all done before that so now I'm just gonna dig into my breakfast and yeah catch up with you a little bit later just checked into my new hotel and I'm eating a little sandwich jambon bar which is ham and butter it's my favorite I picked it up this morning did I show you my outfit can't remember so I'm gonna do another clip for you right now I am wearing this udon choy two-piece it's like a sweater with um open back and then this kind of hooded thing on the top it's really cute and my chanel sunglasses i got my hair up because i thought it looked nicer with the high neck of the sweater aritzia skirt which i've been wearing all the time um you guys know how much i like it and then the same bottom half of outfit that i had from yesterday i just checked into this room so I'm gonna show it to you right now. I'll put the name of the hotel on the screen if you're interested. It is beautiful. There's some light coming through the ceiling, which is really un unusual for a hotel room. And then I've got a little patio here, tiny little terrace, which um, has a view on the courtyard. So cute. It's in a different arrondissement this one is the is in the 11th that's the bed here and then through here i've got i've got a tub <laughs> i'm so happy the light in this bathroom is super nice too because there's also um how do you say that in english comment down below help me out with my english skylight is that a skylight it wouldn't make sense but i could be wrong and a beautiful sink area here i think i'm gonna film some makeup videos here because this situation is ideal and yeah that's it there's a the toilet is separate which i really love that's my manager who's texting me um yeah little toilet here and then that's it i'm just gonna enjoy my sandwich a little bit and then i'm meeting my manager at two o'clock for some presentations this afternoon so i'll bring you guys along for that done with my appointments it was kind of crazy and there was a lot of people in those showrooms so i didn't vlog anything but um if you follow me on instagram i'll put it on the screen then you won't have missed much I'm back at the hotel in my robe um, tonight there's nothing planned so I think what I'm gonna do because I'm desperate to get in this bath is I'm gonna have a nice bath I'm gonna kind of unwind a little bit and then I think I'm gonna go for a walk later maybe get to the water snap some photos by myself kind of do some touristy things not touristy but you know walk around and get a sense of the city a little bit i haven't had time to really uh, wander around by myself so i'm looking forward to do that so yeah i'm not too um hungry because i had the other half of the sandwich just now and it's pretty filling so we'll see if i get hungry later if not maybe i want to have i mean if i do get hungry maybe i want to get um like a green smoothie or a green juice or something i feel like i haven't eaten veggies in so long but let me show you the sun situation. It's so, so nice outside. Love this little courtyard. Obviously, as I'm trying to show you the sun, there's a cloud in front of it, but I mean, you get the gist. Oh, here we go. Very calming. All right, I'm just gonna get in the tub. So excited. <laughs>
of my Chanel shoot with my friend. I cannot wait to shoot that look. I got up, I got up quite early because I wanted my face to deep off and I've already done my skincare and I'm putting on my these what's he eye patches just because they're a little bit bigger than the Chanel ones and I feel like they're covering like a bigger area bigger chances of depuffing somehow must be just in my head but whatever I just ordered my well it doesn't look good anymore but my breakfast in bed there was a little basket of viennoiserie with a fresh press um, grapefruit juice and Americano and a little jar of Nutella I hadn't had Nutella in years and I was really really excited when I saw that so I had a little bit but not too much because otherwise I know I'm gonna feel sick it's too sweet um but yeah that's it right now I'm just finishing my coffee while it's hot and then I'm gonna go ahead and ugh, the white balance is very blue there you go that's a little bit better then I'm gonna go and do my makeup and figure out my hair for this outfit. I still don't really know what I want to do, but I know I need to do something because my hair is a mess. I slept for the first night all night, so I think I'm kind of starting to beat jet lag, which is amazing. I think I slept for six hours, six hours and a half, which for me is enough. And yeah, I feel quite good this morning, really happy. Um, yeah, so I have the shoot this morning, then I'm meeting a friend for lunch, and then tonight we have a an event and then a cocktail party with Louboutin, which is amazing. I have some shoes that just arrived at my manager's um, place, which I am going to wear. We're all going to wear Louboutin shoes, all on loan. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see them, I'm excited to style them with my outfit, and obviously go uh, to the event with them. Um, so yeah, uh, quite a busy day, but we're gonna get it all done, and I'm excited. So guys, it's a little bit later, and I am, as you can see, quite in a different location. We are at the Louboutin event, and it's a whole immersive experience, and I'm not sure how I'm gonna be able to vlog and I'm not even sure you can hear me but I'll make sure I show you the amazing shoes and also this place so starting from now it's gonna be a little bit of a time lapse with a little bit of music so you guys you can so that you can feel what I'm feeling right now this is really fun hopefully you can hear me hotel again I'm staying here for three nights three nights <laughs> at least which is really great because I've been changing hotel quite a bit for the last few days so really happy to stay put for a little while so this morning I had quite a busy one I tried to like style my hair and do all that and then I realized it was too dirty and it needed a wash um, there's a lot of wind here and it's a bit humid so I am kind of not on my regular hair schedule, hair washing schedule, so I had to wash my hair, blow dry it, hence the beret because I don't like how poofy my hair is when I wash it day one. So I had to figure out an outfit um, that goes with the, you know, freshly washed hair. So it's taken a while for me to um, be ready to get out of my room so it's about 10 15 and i think i'm just going to take a new bird to get some breakfast there's this really nice cafe that's near sacré coeur it's called hardware society and i really like it there i come i go every time i'm in paris so i think because i've got a little bit of time this morning i'm gonna take a new bird 
go for breakfast and then walk down uh, from Sacré Coeur and then explore it a little bit, maybe shoot a little bit of film photos and yeah, just walk around and chill. Yesterday the event was so cool. It was so nice to be with the girls and be over there. It was really, really a cool experience. And then we had a lovely dinner. I, I wanted to vlog during the dinner, but the lights were, you know, when there was bars on the screen, it was going crazy on my camera. So I just took a little story, a little bit of stories. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll put it in the screen so you don't miss anything because I've kind of split my, you know, my content between the vlog and the stories, obviously. So if you want to make sure to not miss anything, just make sure you follow me over there. And I'm just going to show you quickly my outfit before I get out my room. I really like this look actually. I'm wearing this new, well I'm wearing an all new frame look that I picked up when I went to the showroom earlier this week. They kindly gifted me these pieces and they look amazing so I decided to wear them right away. That's how much I like them. Um, I'm wearing this very thick leather jacket that has a shirt collar you know you guys know how much i like a little collar like this so i was really kind of i fell in love automatically when i saw it look how good the shape is it's got kind of dolman sleeves and a really large body like this which i love it's very boxy and inside i'm not sure if you can see actually let me boost up the exposure it is denim which is so cool and it's the same sort of indigo wash as these new jeans. I'm going to link them in the description box. I'm not sure what the fit is because these are my first frame jeans, actually. They're a very stiff, but very kind of soft and comfortable denim in this indigo. I don't have jeans like this, but I love the kind of Japanese-inspired uh, vibe of this, like workwear Japanese. Uh, pieces and I did a big turn up which I kind of like actually because they are obviously way too long and I'm wearing some white socks my Prada loafer and a little beret some gold accessories I'm gonna bring my um, Chanel bag obviously that's the bag I wear every day so I think it's gonna look really nice with the chain crossbody and the gold details it's just gonna make this look a little bit more dressy and then I'm wearing some gold hoops to kind of match the hardware situation of this whole look. So let's go and grab breakfast. Hey guys, there's a lot of honking going on, so hopefully you can hear me. I am back from coffee, I mean breakfast. I am having a second coffee. I'm just near um, Place Vendôme and I'm waiting for Julia so we can start our appointment. This afternoon, breakfast was so good. People are really loud. I wonder if you can hear me. But yeah, just had breakfast, loved it. It was a lot of food. And I walked all the way down from Montmartre to um, Trilogy <laughs> to get a coffee. I really wanted to walk a lot this morning. Traffic is crazy, guys. It's, it's full fashion week down here. But yeah, excited for the appointments and excited to have kind of a more relaxed day today. I went to get a coffee at off-white they have a coffee shop on the second floor and i think in between the meetings we're gonna shoot my outfit my frame outfit i really like the look today i feel like people here even if it's fashion week i have never seen somebody vlog in their life so i'm just gonna put down my camera and um, make people stop staring at me good morning guys it is monday and Today is my Chanel day. I am so excited uh, for what's to come today. So I thought I would pick up my camera and vlog the whole thing. As you can see, I look extra tired. It is seven o'clock, which is pretty late start for me, but I am slowly getting ready for what's to come. To start my day, I have, let me tell you exactly. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to discover the Chanel Number no. 5 high-end jewelry collection. As you guys probably know, it's the 100th anniversary of the fragrance this year and they, Chanel created a 
high-end jewelry collection that's entirely dedicated to the perfume and kind of um, exploring different aspects of it so I am going to Place Vendôme to discover I think something like 125 pieces of high-end jewelry 100 and something a lot so I'm super excited and then I am going a little bit outside the city in Pantin and I'm going to see um, an exhibition on how they create the perfume so I'm kind of all about number five today and i'm so excited because as you guys know it's my favorite fragrance it's the only one i brought here and yeah i thought i would vlog the whole day because i know you guys love chanel just as much as i do and i thought it'd be quite different content to vlog so i'm gonna bring you guys along for that right now i'm just getting ready I don't even know if it's raining outside and if it's worth me straightening my hair, but I'm going to start with a clean base, I guess. I have a Chanel look that I'm going to wear for the occasion. And yeah, I just need for these eye patches to be done working their magic on my under eye bags because it was intense this morning. I usually leave them on for like 20 minutes, but depending on how long I have in the morning, sometimes a little shorter, so maybe I'll have to just remove them and start my makeup. And then I am leaving the day after tomorrow, so my trip is almost over, which is a little sad. I don't really want to go back, but also equally my family is visiting when i come back is um canadian thanksgiving so everybody's coming to toronto my sister my parents my sister's boyfriend so i was talking to dylan about it and he's kind of preparing the whole apartment and all of that so that should be really cozy to come back to my whole family and kind of spend family quality time and downtime after i've been doing this fashion week craziness for the past week so yeah right now i'm just gonna sort out my outfit as these are still on my face and i will come back to you okay guys the outfit is figured out and i've also done my hair to give these patches a little bit more time so i'm wearing the mock neck monogram top with my Prada dress that's open at the back so you can see a little bit more of the top and then I have my hair up in a half up half down style and I've added the little Chanel clip in my hair hopefully you can see that um so that's the look I'm gonna wear today I really like it in the end I decided to wear this top underneath it instead of a white shirt because I thought you know it's a Chanel day I should be wearing something of the brand as my main piece so I thought the top was perfect so right now I'm just gonna quickly do my makeup just a very natural makeup look and then I'm gonna grab my things and go mm -hmm.
here because I haven't been here since I arrived and I wanted to see it again. I wanted to take a couple of film photos. This thing is choking me. But yeah, my appointment's in about 15 minutes and the, here is quite close to where I need to be. So I'm just gonna sit here a little bit, maybe reply to a couple of emails and then get to my appointment. to say that today was a bit of a fail in terms of vlogging turns out I I mean I've had an amazing day but turns out at the Chanel appointments and exhibitions I could not really vlog so I tried to capture everything I could from the pieces that I could film and also I shot a lot on my phone for Instagram but I thought I could be you know vlogging the whole time and kind of showing you around but it was a lot of the art piece that they were showing us um, they didn't necessarily have the rights for you know those images and things like that to be published um, on social media because it's archive um, art pieces from many different artists and yeah so it turns out I couldn't film that much so I'm so sorry but I had an amazing day and hopefully I'll put my Instagram on the screen and you can um, go on Instagram and those posts will be sort of my recap of my day but I thought I would show you the room since it's been cleaned and it looks more decent so it's just this one bedroom but it's quite big and the ceilings are really tall because it's a very old building I love this bed it's very art deco kind of 70s with the color palette and the patterns on the curtains i love 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 these side tables i think they're so beautiful and then my view is quite pretty as well on saint germain right now the sun is setting slowly and then you have two big closets like this i love also the finishes it's very high end you know like the lights turn on as you open the door of the closet which is really kind of a nice little detail like this and then through here you have the bathroom which is very spacious too i feel like they would have had room to put a bath in bath in here sorry but yeah overall really high quality finishes i love this standing sink you know all chrome like this and yeah pretty big bathroom this is perfect for filming and like vlogging because I can just pop my camera over here or here and get like a good point of view without having to usually I put my tripod around I wrap my tripod around this and it's very like shaky and unstable but yeah here's my bedroom I'm here for one more night until I switch tomorrow for my last hotel for my last night and then I'm flying home 
So right now I've been out all day. I'm quite tired, but I don't really have a lot of time to rest. I'm just gonna change and go to have dinner with friends. I'm very excited. And yeah, I don't think I'm gonna vlog because I wanna catch up properly and I don't wanna put the camera in, pe in people's faces, but I'm excited to have a quiet night and some wine and food with friends. I really like this outfit in the end. This little top in my Prada dress, I think it looks really cute. I like tight tops like this. I find them really flattering and very convenient to kind of layer underneath things. Okay, let me take off this hair because I can't deal with how it's pulling on my head and quickly change before I head out again. tomorrow and tomorrow is Wednesday so this is my last night in Paris before I go home I am quite sad about it but also a bit excited to go home see Dylan and see my family as well yeah I'm quite excited it's just the journey there is gonna be you know traveling is always a bit of a hassle so yeah this morning I, I have a hair morning I went to Dior and I've filmed everything I could and you would have seen the clips already and now I am checked into my very last hotel which is amazing it's super big I am at Hotel 7 which is a newly renovated hotel I'm gonna link it on the screen but let me just show you the room because it, it is really really amazing for Paris it's huge so you come in here and then you have the main area, but here you have a separate room for the toilet. And then through here you have a beautiful bathroom with a tub and some marble finishes, beautiful vanity area to do my makeup. And then you have a living room, which is unseen before. Um, very few hotels have that much space in the room the bed which is really really big and then the view outside now it's sunny but it's been raining all day so i've got two windows that can open up and there's a little sofa area here it's really really pretty it's a shame i'm only here for one night but i'm gonna enjoy it to the fullest Tonight I have dinner with the Chanel team, which I'm really excited about. Never been to the restaurant that we're going, so I am, I'm already hungry and it's four o'clock. I might just run downstairs somewhere and pick up a little, a little snack because I'm really, really hungry and I feel like if I have wine, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get, you know, tipsy too quick. But anyways, I have a lot of editing to do, have a lot to have a lot of work to catch up on, which is getting me a little bit anxious, but I think because I have a day flight tomorrow, I'm going to try to work on the plane as much as I can and edit the last bits of photos that I took here because I took a lot. <laughs> I don't come here very often these days because of COVID, so I really want to make it worth being here and shoot as much as I can. 
So yeah, I'm not sure how this vlog is gonna look like. I've vlogged as much as I could, honestly, but I might do it in two parts. Um, we'll see if there's too much footage and the vlog is too long. I'm just gonna do Paris part one, Paris part two. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed to see a little bit of what I'm up to when I'm here. And I think I might film a little bit tonight, but if not, this is gonna be the end of the vlog. So if it is the end of the vlog and I keep this clip in, I wanna thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you will enjoy a little bit of variety in my content. And yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a comment, like this video, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It would mean a lot. Um, yeah. I love you very much and I hope to see you in my next video.